We're about to find out if we get coal for Christmas in this special edition 50 card PSA return video with giveaway starting right now. Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome back to the Parkside Merchant Channel. We've got a real big video here, 50 card PSA return, just arrived in the mail here this week. Uh, this is gonna be our Christmas special on the channel. And so of course, we're gonna do a giveaway, uh, one random card, PSA card, uh, from this return will be the giveaway prize. Uh, it'll be a random card of my choosing from this selection. Uh, to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite card was from this submission. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start breaking some stuff open here. I did make a note on the box, folks. You could see that this uh, arrived at PSA last October. Uh, it was entered into their system uh, in January of this year, and then it was just shipped back to us here uh, on November 29th. So just over a year or so from like the time that it went out the door to the time that I'm receiving all these cards back. Uh, I will also say, folks, that I have not peeked at the grades, as always. I don't really like to peek before these opening videos because it makes it more exciting and suspenseful uh, for me when I'm doing the openings. You can see also, take a look at this box, guys. This got some serious, um, serious abuse there in, the, in transit, like that corner. Think about the level of impact you would need to like do that to the side of one of these boxes. But in any case, they do pack this stuff well, so hopefully... Hopefully everything comes back safe and sound. Um, but you never know sometimes, right? There are issues that can happen in transit. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that everything comes out of here looking okay. Um, here we go. So very exciting video here, folks. We're doing a giveaway from a PSA return. You don't see people doing that too often. So that's kind of exciting. And there are some pretty cool cards in this submission. Uh, this is one of the first three submissions that I've ever done, actually, to PSA. And so, um, a lot of my old, you know, fan favorite kind of cards in here from, uh, from back in the day. So, let me start to get this box opened up. I think, uh, let's see here, I'm probably going to do a little flip over. go. Let's see how we look there. Very nice. And they're really good about uh, packaging stuff. People always, you know, a lot of reasons that folks may have mixed opinions about PSA, but one thing you can really never fault them for is the job they do in packaging stuff for transit. They're always like really thoughtful and really deliberate about making sure stuff stays safe in transit. Okay, we got one, two, and three. Okay, so for those of you that watch my channel, you know that I like to keep a little uh, tally running up there at the top for all the different tiers of, of stuff that we get. So PSA 10s will go up here nines, eights, and then all the stuff that I don't like. PSA seven and less will go over there. We'll put our highest ranking card uh, from the set into that nice little holder up there as we kind of go through the return. Um, I'm gonna start with the lightest box. Folks that watch the channel know I like to do that, right? And then make my way to the heavy boxes that have all the, all the good stuff. Which you don't, know, you don't know really, right? It could be, there could be uh, really good stuff in the light boxes, you just don't know. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason to, uh, at least I don't think there's much rhyme or reason to like how they pick um, whether to put the good cards or the bad cards in like their own little lighter box. I don't really know. Um, I, and sometimes it does come back in the order in which you submitted the cards. And sometimes it like, uh, sometimes I'm not so sure that it does. So in any case, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first card here. This will all be a Yu-Gi-Oh themed uh, PSA return. So first card, we got a mint nine. 
Nice. Booster Pack 10. Gear Freed. That's actually, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That's a, that's a nice card. Um, that's, a, that's a popular choice. Definitely happy there. Next up we have, all right, PSA 8. We've got a limited edition, Dual Master's Guide. So obviously not the one that everybody is all excited about, but still a pretty, pretty cool card. PSA 8, that's a, that's a nice one. Nice foil card there. Next up, we have, this thing's got some back wear on it. You can see up at the top. PSA 7, change of heart from Starter Deck Kaiba Evolution, looks like. Yep. Interesting choice. Not sure why I submitted that one, but we shall see here. Next card. Whoa! Got a PSA 7. First edition. Starter Deck Kaiba Evolution. This thing had a little bit of a corner boo-boo on it, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, you can see it there. Uh, really too bad, because the rest of this card looked really nice. It was just that little corner boo-boo down there that, you know, kind of kind of ruined it, unfortunately. But uh, big card. I mean, not as cool as the uh, original Starter Deck Kaiba edition. But still, nonetheless, a good card. Uh, let me move this up a little bit. Here we go. No PSA 10 so far, folks. Let's get some 10s. Let's get some 10s. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that, folks. That's actually... That's pretty cool right there, folks. That is a PSA 9 Starter Deck Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon. This was actually one of my childhood copies, believe it or not. So must have done a good job keeping care of this one, taking good care of it. Um, wow. Well, that's, that's cool. That's definitely going to be our kind of ranking uh, champion card up there. Really happy with that one. Next up, we got a PSA 6, another Blue Eyes, Starter Deck Kaiba. You know, this one had some wear and tear. This is the one I used to play with more, so you can see it's got some, got some issues there on the top. Um, but that's okay. Those are, that's a big card, too. Next one. Oh, wow, that's sad. PSA 5 for Booster Pack 10, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Um, I probably played with this one a lot, too, so... Not such a uh, good grade on this, but very big card. Would have liked a better grade on it, but you know, you do what you can. Next up, another PSA 5, Booster Pack 10, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Uh, that's cool. I wish I had some 10s of those things. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. Next up, we have a PSA 8, Exodia the Forbidden One, Master Collection. So, Maybe not the copy of this that everybody's excited about. These were pretty easy to get your hands on back in the day, but pretty cool, right? PSA 8. Looks like they put like all the foils in this one, maybe. I don't know. Next up, we've got the Thousand Eyes Restrict. This is the Duelist League Series 1. I was hoping for a better grade on that thing, to be honest with you, but I guess the centering was pretty bad, so that's all right. Next up. Ooh, Lost Millennium, PSA 10, DD Survivor, unlimited, unfortunately. So that's a, that's a disappointment. I would have preferred something like that to be first edition. I submit a lot of unlimited stuff, or I did submit a lot of unlimited stuff back in like the October, November time frame last year. So there's probably going to be some unlimited stuff in here. Spirit Message A, unlimited, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Um, that's okay. Unfortunately, not a first edition copy. We're going to move on to our next box here. So, you know, not a terrible looking return here so far, folks, right? I mean, the the um, the blue eyes are obviously really cool, especially that PSA 9 from Starter Deck Kaiba. That's, like, kind of cool. A lot of that stuff got played really hard, so, you know, those, those do actually still have a pretty decent value, even though it's unlimited. Um, just because so many of those things got totally destroyed back in the day. And I do know that particular starter deck was printed a lot back in the day too. So it's not like these are it's not like these things are hard to come by, but at that grade it's it's pretty cool. Um, that's basically, you know, the way PSA is doing things these days, that's as good as pack fresh to me, right? Sometimes you get pack fresh copies that come out of nine. So that's a pretty big deal in my opinion. 
All right, I'm going to move through this next stack pretty quick because I know I'm, I'm running up the clock here. We've got a mint nine mage power unlimited. Very cool. There's some big stuff, by the way, coming up in here, I think. Next card, mint nine fire princess unlimited. Very nice. Next card, uh, PSA eight megamorph unlimited. Interesting. Next card, PSA 8, Giant Trunade, Unlimited. Very nice. Next card, we got a PSA 8, Mystical Space Typhoon, Unlimited. Okay. Next card, ooh, we got a Mint 9, Snatch Steel, Magic Ruler, Unlimited. Next card, we got a Mint 9 Griffin Wing. That's our iconic card here for our channel. Uh, very uh, fun card to have. Maybe I'll put that to the side just so folks can see it throughout the uh, rest of our opening here, just given our title um, and our profile pick for our channel. Next up, we've got a Mint 9 Monster Reborn from uh, Starter Deck Pegasus. That's kind of cool. Unlimited. Next. We've got another Mint 9 Rush Relentless, or Rush Recklessly, excuse me, um, from Starter Deck Pegasus. That's cool. Next card, Mint 9, another Starter Deck Pegasus, Mint 9. There must be a couple of these in here, I guess. Ooh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, folks. Get a load of this. Wow! This is fabulous, folks. This is a PSA 10. Unlimited Relinquished. I mean, that is amazing, folks. This was not like something that I did anything special with. This was a childhood copy of Relinquished from this starter deck Pegasus that I had that I guess they must just really have liked this copy. Um, wow, folks. I think that's going to unseat this, this PSA 9 and it's going to take the throne now as our reigning champion card, folks. Get a load of that. That is like, that's so gratifying when that happens, you know? One of your own cards from your childhood that like holds up after 20, basically 20 years or so and gets a 10. That's really cool, folks. Really, uh, really happy about that. That just made my, made my day there. Next card, we got a PSA 7, Jar of Greed. Uh, oh, you know what I did? I must have submitted some stuff from like a, one of those structure decks. I'm, so there's gonna be a couple of those I bet here. PSA 5, Snatch Steel, first edition. Yep. Next up, uh, PSA 5, Ultimate Baseball Kid, first edition. Wow, that's, that's pretty sad. Next up, whoa, Gem Mint 10, Ultimate Baseball Kid. Okay, that's kind of fun. You don't see those very often. Next up, PSA 8, Heavy Storm, Magic Card. Nice. Vintage stuff right there. Next up. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get a load of this, folks. PSA 10, Metal Raiders. Mirror Force. That is, uh, that is not something to, uh, to scoff at right there, folks. That is, a, that is a big card. That's pretty cool. Too bad it's not first edition, but still pretty big deal. Next up, we've got... Oh, there you go. Another one of my favorites right here. PSA 9. Garnetia Elephantis, unlimited, but still a, uh, a real fan favorite here for folks that follow my channel. Big, big fan of that card. Next up we have Mint 9, Witch of the Black Forest. Nice, that's a, uh, that's a good one. Um, okay guys, so we're doing really, we're doing okay here. Um, I'm really happy about the recovery we made with that Gem Mint 10, uh, Relinquished. We've got some Blue Eyes cards that are really some big hitters coming out of this uh, this return. We've also got that Mirror Force, which is a pretty uh, pretty fancy thing to be seeing. So I'm very happy about that. We're going to go through our final stack now, folks, from this PSA return. Uh, this has definitely got to be one of my favorite PSA returns that I've done. Um, really, really happy with the way things are progressing here. I will tell you, there are some big hitters in this last stack, folks. We're talking... The cards that I put in here, there's a couple in here that if they come back a 10, 
I'm going to literally like flip out on this video if I get a 10 on a couple of these things. So let's see what we got. Let's smash that like button as well, just for some, for some good luck here in this final stack. I'm, I'm really hoping for a couple of 10s in here. So keep your fingers crossed, folks. Let's get some 10s on these last cards. There's some big stuff in this stack, if I'm not mistaken, if this is the right sub. So next card, we got a PSA 8 Fiber Jar Unlimited. Legacy of Darkness. I would have preferred that to be first edition, but that's okay. Next we have PSA 8, first edition here from uh, Magician Force. I mean, that's kind of interesting. Some people like these commons. Um, would have been better if that were like a 9 or a 10, but that's okay. Next card, guys. We got a PSA 8, another Magician's Force uh, common here. There might be a couple of those in here. I did have a lot of MFC stuff, so... We got a Mint 9 Change of Heart Unlimited from Metal Raiders. That's, uh, that's nice. Not shabby there. It's a magic card, by the way, which, you know, for all the people that are always worried about reprints and stuff, that's kind of nice to see. Next up, we have Monster Reborn Magic card. This is an LOB uh, card. It's a PSA 7, unfortunately, but still really nice looking. Very OC in this particular copy, but that's okay. All right, next up, we've got... <laughs> Goblin's Secret Remedy, PSA 8, Magic Card. That's a rare. Oh, that was an 8. Got to get that in my 8 stack. Next card, folks. We have a Fissure, Gem Mint 10, LOB, Spell Card. Unfortunately. Uh, but still really cool, right? PSA 10s are fun. Everybody loves a PSA 10. Next card... We've got a Celtic Guardian there, LOB, PSA 9. That's pretty pretty fun, right? That's a really nice looking copy, I seem to remember. Okay, next card. Double Spell, first edition, Magician's Force, PSA 8. That's kind of fun. Next up, we got a PSA 7, first edition from Magician Force. Next card, okay, PSA 8, Magician Force, Apprentice Magician, another first edition, that's a rare there, that's pretty cool. Next card, here we go, there's some big stuff coming soon, I think. Um, Skilled Dark Magician, first edition, PSA 8, very nice. Next card, okay, we have a PSA 8, Paladin of White Dragon, first edition, Magician Force. I had three copies of this in this sub, all first dead. They're probably, the next two are probably gonna come up after this. I need a 10 out of this card, folks. So we got an eight, this one was pretty OC. Let's see what we can do on the next two copies. Let's get a 10 out of this, let's get a 10. That's like a game changer for that pop report, if we can pull a 10 out of this. Whew, we got a mint nine, folks. Oh boy, I'm really nervous right now. I'm really, really nervous. Um, PSA 9, First Dead, Paladin of White Dragon, Magician's Force. This is one of the most difficult cards from MFC to grade in a PSA 10. We have one copy remaining. Can we get a 10 from the Paladin of White Dragon, First Edition? Oh, PSA 7. That is very disappointing. Okay, moving on. That's really upsetting. I was really banking on a 10 from one of those three copies, folks. That's really, really sad. Um, we've got another first edition. Uh, Magician Force common there. Oh, that's a 7? or No, that's an 8. PSA 8. That's good. Next up. PSA 7 Zombie Tiger. Okay. We've got a PSA 8 First Dead. We're coming down to our last card here, folks. Let's see what we got for the, to close out this PSA return. We've got a PSA 8 Pitch Dark Dragon from Magician Force First Dead. Very cool. So that's the uh, PSA return here, folks. Some very big stuff in here. I'm very happy with a couple of the big items that came back. I would have liked to see a PSA 10 from one of those Paladin of White Dragons from Magician's Force, but that's okay. We got a PSA 9 out of it, which is still a pretty... Pretty good grade there. Um, once again, folks, I appreciate the time. Thanks again for watching. Make sure that you enter our giveaway for this Christmas special. This is the Parkside Merchants channel, and we'll see you next time.